Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can I pass the number of retries dynamically from an app.config value in inUnit? Let's break down the issue. Our viewer has set up an app config file with a key for retry tests, but when trying to use that value in the new init retry attribute, they encounter an error. The error states that an attribute argument must be a constant expression. So how can we work around this limitation? Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through a question, going through those answers, and hopefully it leads to your solution. Remember, stay a little bit crazy, just like me, to get through to your resolution. Now let's get started. To dynamically pass the number of retries in NuNet, we first need to understand that attributes in C-sharp require constant values. This means we cannot directly use a variable like number of retries. Instead, we can use a workaround by creating a custom attribute that accepts a dynamic value. This allows us to read the configuration value at runtime. Let's start by creating a custom retry attribute. This attribute will inherit from the retry attribute class and will read the number of retries from the app.config. Now we can use our custom attribute in our test method. This way, the number of retries will be dynamically set based on the value from app.config. Finally, ensure that your app.config file contains the correct key and value for retries. This setup allows you to manage retry counts without changing the code. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To implement retries in NuNet, you can use the test case source attribute. This allows you to create a data-driven test that runs a specified number of times. In your test explorer, you'll see multiple test cases generated like test one, test two, and test three, corresponding to the number of retries specified. And that's it, guys. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until next time, I hope you have a good day and see you then. Cheers.